All right, so we are back on my journey becoming an elite trick jumper and today we are doing all intermediate jumps of four points of difficulty out of ten and we are beginning with battlefield bound which consists into going to this place over here that rock that moon pipe and getting there with a triple jump and a single dive no cap throws no tricks no johns um let's give it a first go let's see how it goes And just like that we did, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Mario. Give it up. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Easy. Easy peasy. No, okay. You cannot have a Goomba assist you. I was bullshitting through that jump. All right, on to the next one. All right, welcome to the next trick jump. This one is called Bowser Gap, and I, I thought that a change in outfit. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> so here I am with the knight's armor, and basically what I need to do is to get to the other side, and I need to not fall into the base. That would be that would be great. So the way to do this, I think. I think something like this is in order. Not even close. Oh, come on. Come on, dude, it's so close. Ooh. Oh, shit. Hello there. The next trick jump is Galactic Leap, and I have to reach the Toad Mushroom Shop. Well, not the, the shop itself, just the floor, but I have to make it across this abyss of darkness. Let's see if I can make it. What I'm thinking here is a classic cap ball with a little bit of that and a little bit of that one and that didn't work and I'm so far from my objective. That was even worse than the first one. Okay, okay. Too much horizontal distance. Oh, trick jumping just consists on getting that tiny precise balance between horizontal and vertical distance. This is the noble art of trick jumping at its finest. Hmm. I don't know what to make out of the all the data that I've recollected. I I just have one conclusion and that is that I'm a moron. So close. So close. Do like that's it. I go all in. All for nothing. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Fuck it. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. All right. So here we are again. I went on a little vacation and I have cleared my head from Mario Trick jumping. So now I have renovated energies to attempt this crazy jump. Dude, you're almost there. <laughs> Mario, please. Nope. That's it. That's it. That's it, baby. Galactic Leap. Yes! I knew that was the right setup. Oh my god. All right, I've seen the next jump, which is called Holding One, and and this shit is ridiculous. I, I, if I get this one, if I get this one, you better subscribe. I'll make that deal. 
How about you, you bitch? You make that deal? I'd make that deal. I don't blame you. Damn good deal. Oh, okay, I quit. The public bench has beaten me. Okay, this next trick jump, it's called North Pole. From up there, and you have to get here. Notice how the distance is enormous. Okay, this is the bullshit we'll have to deal with. But yeah, basically we have to get down there. Okay, let's give it a try. This is a good old case of vectoring. Okay, okay. So far not as bad as the hole in one. That shit broke me. Let's go, back to King. Oh. Mario, I knew you could do it. I know relaxing was the key, that's why I'm never angry at these videos. And we're back once again in this Doom challenge room, where there are so many trick jumps that I don't even know how many of them I've done at this point. But the one that is concerning us today is Pond Blocks, which consists of jumping from here to the blocks up there. Let's give it a shot. Should I go for the quicker rainbow spin? I don't know. Let's try and see how it feels. No, absolutely not. I don't know, man. I feel that this one is so simple. Like, to understand. That it's actually going to be horrible. That was really close. Okay, okay, okay. No backtoring, no bullshit. I, I, I figured this out, I think. I'm this close to quitting. Ah! Yes! Take that, you stupid little ass trick jump! All right, so we are here in Bowser's Kingdom for the next trick jump that is called Roof Descent. Now, what uh, what I finally have comprehended after having put almost two hours into the previous trick jump is how vectoring works. I actually swallowed my swallowed my pride. I I studied a major degree in Super Mario Odyssey vectoring, and I. Finally, I finally understood how it is supposed to go. So basically, um, vectoring is supposed to be a perfect zigzag. Now, what I didn't know is that um, is that basically the rainbow spin counts as a vectoring thingy. So uh, what you have to do is um, is perform that correctly. So, if you are vectoring to the right, then you throw Cappy to the right, but you rainbow spin to the left, and then you throw Cappy again to the right. That was the thing that I was missing. That was the vital piece of information that I did not have on me. And now I think I look at this game completely different than before. Okay, so now, onto the matter that is in our hands, Roof Descent. I basically have to go to the tile of the of the ceiling that is closest to the other side not the one that is above there but the one that is down there and to do that we have to once again practice some vectoring so i move to the left throw capi to the right move again yeah that's basically it it leaves you a thin room for That was already a lot closer. Oh my god. Just so you know, 
Each trick gen has passed from being like. Holy fuck! Yes! Yes! The golden victory! Let's go! Thank you, Johnny! Alright, guys, so not far away from the other trick jump, we have Shingle Summit, which is a jump that consists on jumping over that fire and going up to the ceiling. Basically, you have to triple jump. And, and yeah, and then do a lot of lots of different stuff, I guess. Okay. This is going to be hard, right? Like, oh. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I feel like Mario could smell victory from there. Oh, that could be it. No. Crap, I felt like that was the one. Oh, promising? Nope. But why does it... <laughs> what the f... <laughs> yeah! Well... It is time for the main reason I wanted to become an elite trick jumper. I gotta be honest. As you as you know, I've sped run Mario Odyssey for a while, and there's a really hard trick jump called Snowdram, a four out of ten trick jump, might I say, that is used in advanced speed running. I wanted to learn how to do it, but I didn't want to start performing Snowdram. I needed to the journey first and so what we're going to do now it's the snow drum on first try that's right let's begin <laughs> okay it would have been so cool if I landed it on the first try but of course we're going to spend an hour here oh I know what was missing on that I have to do like of first row, second row, that's it. First row, second row, go. Woo -hoo -hoo! I felt like I almost did it. Woo! These are hard. I've been studying four years of vectoring now. I've graduated with honors. And yet, these jumps are really complicated, man. And they're not even half the top difficulty. Makes you think, huh? Holy fuck! Snowdram! In 10 minutes, baby! I'm the greatest at vectoring right now. The next jump, it's called Soup Bath. And it's a curious one because you have to basically jump from here to the soup <laughs> question mark uh, of the other side of where the that pink fork is so of course once again we're going to do a little vectoring here oh the run back is going to be miserable Oh, I'm not even close. I'm scared. I'm really scared if I gotta be honest. Okay, let me talk about it. Cabalt to the right, Mario to the left. Cappy to the right, Mario to the left. That's... That's close. That was almost it, dude. Watch this. Woohoo! Baby! Oh, wait. 
If it returns... Does that mean... I touch the floor? Let me check. Okay. After watching the... After watching the jump closely, I feel like for a frame or two, but not, none more than that, I've actually made the trick jump. So I will be moving on, on to the next one. That was close. All right. This is the last trick jump that is performed um, in the 4 out of 10 difficulty. And it's called Under Construction. Basically, I have to go below this and reach that corner over there where, where, the, where the flag is. And what's interesting is that people do a, um, a long jump on this one. They do something like this. Okay, I haven't done it correctly, but 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 you'll see, you'll see. So what they do basically is this: to get the quick rainbow uh, thingy. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Close, close enough, close enough. We're on, we're on a good path over here. Let's see. Woohoo! That was quick. Nice. So this has been all the four out of ten difficulty intermediate trick jumps. I'm closer than ever to becoming an elite trick jumper. Let's. Fucking go! Subscribe to Walrash, uh, follow Weskies on Twitter, I don't even know anymore. This has been it. Goodbye, people of the world.